So everyone, uh, today topic is profit center accounting, some extension. My dear students, concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. I will tell you one important point, everyone. Just try to understand. So yesterday, yesterday what we did in the last class, what we did. So please join on time, everyone. Yesterday, what we did actually. Yesterday we did. First, we created control a, controlling area. Controlling area. First, we created controlling area. For this controlling area, first this controlling area, we are going to assign our company course. We are going to assign our company course. Company course. And under this controlling area, everyone, under this controlling area, we will set up one hierarchy, everyone. Set up here any name. Set up here any name, actually. Uh, what is that name? Uh, for we are called as a hierarchy. This is the one. Define standard hierarchy. We are called as a profit center standard hierarchy. Here we are called as a profit center standard hierarchy. So what is meant by profit center standard hierarchy means here we can set up any name actually. Here we are going to set up any name. I am set up here example um, uh, RM PCSH. Set up here any name. Under this name we are going to create profit center groups. Under this name, we are going to create profit center groups. Profit center groups. Under the profit center group, we are going to create profit center. We are going to create profit center. Profit center. So here, so next step is we can create profit center group. Next is creating profit center. This is exactly flow, everyone. This is the flow, actually. Flow of profit center. First, what we did? First, we can set up controlling area. First, we can set up controlling area. This controlling area, we are going to assign our company codes. Under the controlling area, we need to set up profit center's hierarchy. Set up here any name, actually. Set up here any name so what is the name you can set up here any name okay this is the middleware this is the middleware between your controlling area and your profit center groups so under the profit center group we need to create profit center we need to create profit center so can you please note it down this everyone note it down this Noted on this. So we have to, now we can set up standard hierarchy. Now we want to create profit center group. Then we need to create profit centers. Noted on this. Everyone note it down. Done. Done so everyone, here what I am trying to tell, one is set up your standard hierarchy, set up your any name, then set up your profit center group and create the profit center. So what, what is a profit center groups? What is a profit center groups we can create means? Example, we have uh, two types of companies, right? 
uh, one is profit center groups we are going to create like this example what is our profit center group how many uh, uh, companies everyone is joining again and again so everyone who have example rm steel and rm cement rm steels and rm cement go, go on mute ashok ji please go on mute sir ashok sir please go on mute and here in the rm steels we have uh, two segments right we have two segments actually and here rm steel rod segment i mean profit center group like so simultaneously we can create same thing profit center group and here steel sheet profit center group here rm steel sheet profit center group and here also here also rm opp profit center group and here here also rm ppp profit center group under this profit center group we can create the profit centers under this profit center group we can create the profit center example rm 100 and here rm 200 like this rm 200 this is the profit center set up here any name and uh, rm 300 i can create like this rm 3 set up here any name i can set up like this rm 400 rm 400 so everyone concentrate here so what is this this is called profit center groups what is this this is called i can create i can create like this what is this this is called profit center groups profit center group and uh, this is called profit centers this is called profit center i can create the profit center segment wise this is called profit center profit everyone listen careful listen careful everyone yesterday yesterday we created controlling area yesterday we can assign controlling area to company code yesterday we activated our profit center accounting now what we will do everyone concentrate here now what we will do here yesterday we configure controlling area and assign to our company codes then activate profit center accounting here everyone first one define profit center standard hierarchy set up here any name set up here any name under this name under this name we want to create profit center groups we want to create profit center group under the profit center group we need to create profit center profit center may create business area wise segment wise product wise area wise whatever wise client is required the reports that wise you can create example now we are creating segment wise so let's set up here any standard hierarchy let's go to sap click on your sap logon enter username and password everyone concentrate here, everyone concentrate here so what is the path for setup here any name everyone standard hierarchy means setup here any name that is the name is middleware 
between your controlling area and your profit center groups. Okay, let's set up here any name. What is the path? This is the path, everyone. It's PRO, financial accounting, general ledger accounting, master data, profit center, define profit center hierarchy. So what is that? Let's go to SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG, select here financial accounting, general ledger accounting, master record, profit center, here everyone, here. My dear students, concentrate here, here. First one is called activate profit center accounting. Second one is called Define, second win is called define profit center standard hierarchy. Third one is called define profit center group. Okay, everyone concentrate here. First one yesterday we already activated. Click on your position. First one controlling area, RMCA. First one yesterday we already activated. Activate profit center accounting. The second one, everyone concentrate here. Define profit center standard hierarchy. You just double click on this and click on your position. Your controlling area, RMCA, here, here, everyone. Here, set up here any name. This is the name. Here, this is your controlling area. Here, here, everyone. Set up here any name. This name is the middleware between your controlling area and your profit center groups. Your profit center groups, everyone. For example, I am set up here, RM underscore uh, profit center hierarchy. Set up here any name. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Then click on your save, save. And one step back. Next one, next step. Define standard hierarchy means profit center groups. You just double click on this execute button. For example, everyone, if you face any issue here, if you face any issue, define standard hierarchy, you can go to this one, everyone, this step. Define profit center groups here, here. You just double click on this execute button. So check your controlling area. What is your controlling area? Go to edit. Set your controlling area. What is your controlling area? RMCA. Then what is the standard hierarchy? Here. Press enter. Enter. We set up one standard hierarchy, right? RM underscore something we set up. What is that? Set up here any name like that we set up. What is that? RM. Anyone remember? RM. PCHC. PC, 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 PC. PC. Yes, Press enter. Here you want to create. I'm repeating one second, everyone. I'm repeating one second for my satisfaction. I'm repeating one second. Listen. Listen careful. Listen careful, my dear students. Listen careful. Now what I'm doing. Now what I'm doing, everyone. I am doing profit center creation. First step, what we need to do? First step, activate controlling area. This is belongs to controlling area. Next one, activate profit center accounting. Activate profit center accounting. Click on the tick mark. Second step, one second everyone, one second. Everyone, concentrate here. Here, this step, this is the step, example, this step, this is the step here we want to set up any name, that is the name is middleware between your profit center group and your controlling area. So how to set up here any name, I will show you again. Then next step is define profit center groups, define profit center groups everyone. So how you can set up here any name? I'm repeating one second, everyone. First one, activate profit center accounting. You just double click on this. Click on your position, RMCA, your controlling area. 
So this is your controlling area, your physical ear. Click on your activate. The next step. Define standard hierarchy. Set up here any name in the second step. Second step. Click on your position, your controlling area here. Set up here any name. RM underscore. You, here you can set up any name, everyone. Here you can set up any name. The next step is define profit center group. So maximum you the people go to here in this step. And in case if it is any problem, directly you can go to define profit center group. So give it your profit center, double click on profit center group. It is your company, this is your controlling area, then fine. This is your controlling area, then fine. In case it is not your controlling area, in case, in case it is not your controlling area, go to extras, set controlling area. Here you can give your controlling area. Click on your OK. That name, whatever name you are set up now, standard hierarchy name, that name you can enter here, RMPC something. Second step, whatever name you will set up here now, what name here I set up? RM underscore PC HC like that. I set up now that name you can enter here. Manually you can type, manually you can type, then press enter, enter. So here we want to create profit center groups. Everyone concentrate here. So here you can observe everyone. You can observe here. You can observe here. My target is under this name. For example, what is my name? RM underscore PC HC like that. So now I want to set up these groups. Under the group, I want to create profit centers. Okay, let's create the groups, everyone. Example, RM profit center standard hierarchy. Standard hierarchy. Everyone, concentrate here. Under this, select this RM PCHC. Click on your lower level. Click on your lower level. Set up here any name and write the description. Example, RM, uh, RM, ST, RM, Steel, Profit Center Group, Enter. And click on here, same level, same level. Then RM, CT, RM, Cement, Profit Center Group, Enter. Again, under this, under this, select this, under this, click on your lower level. Now, RM, ST, underscore, uh, steel rod profit center. RM, steel rod profit center group. Enter. And here, uh, Select this same level, same level. RM ST under this is a stand. This is not a standard name. Set up here any name actually. You can write the description. And the steel sheet. Steel sheet. RM steel sheet. Profit center group. Press enter. And uh, here again, cement. Select the cement. Click on your lower level. Click on your lower level. And here uh, RM. Now you can set up here any name RM CT underscore OPP. RM OPP Cement Profit Center Group. Enter. Then select here. Same level, RMCT, PPP, RMPPP, Cement Profit Center Group, enter. So it is like one tree. Under this, we need to create profit centers. Under this, we need to create profit center. 
So this is the profit center groups. This group we can create under standard hierarchy. This standard hierarchy we assigned with our controlling area. Our controlling area assigned with our company codes. Okay, under this group we need to create profit center. Everyone, following everyone, what I'm telling, yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Let's create profit center. I can repeat once again if you want, okay? Click on your save everyone, save and back. Now my target is, now my target is, so I done this. I done this. Now my target is I want to create profit centers. I want to create profit center. How to create profit center? My dear students, can you please note it down this? Can you please note it down everyone? Note it on this, KE51, create profit center. KE52, change profit center. KE53, display profit center. KE54, delete profit center. And uh, six KEA display changes. Can you please note it on this, everyone? Please note it down. Please note it down. KE51, KE52, KE53, KE54, and KE56, KEA, like that. Done, sir. Done. So, my dear students, concentrate here. Now my target is, I want to create profit center. Why I did yesterday configuration, today configuration? My target is, I need to create profit center. End of the day, I want to create profit center. So you just double click on KE51, create profit center. Everyone, concentrate here. Profit center, set up here any name and controlling area. What is the name you can set up anything? It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. My, I'm set up here RM100. Set up here any name, anything, anything here. Okay, and your controlling area, press enter, enter. Press enter. So here you can write the description, example, RM, steel sheet, RM steel sheet profit center. Profit center. And your person responsible, Mr. Ramu. And here profit center group. Everyone for the steel sheet, click on your browse. What is our profit center group? Uh, something ST steel sheet, this one, this one. RM Steel Sheet Profit Center Group, we created just now. And segment, segment, Steel Sheet Segment. Click on your browse, something RM, something is there now everyone. RM Star Enter. Here, RM Steel Sheet, RM SS. Press Enter, Enter. Then save and activate, save. And you must activate everyone. Activate. See here, profit center has been created. 
I'm repeating once again. I'm repeating once again, everyone. Click on your 200. I'm, I'm creating RM200. Press enter. Your uh, RM steel rod segment. Sorry, RM steel rod profit center. Profit center. And here person responsible. Mr. Ramana and here assign the profit center group just now you created now and what is the profit center group this one RM steel rod profit center group and here segment what is that segment RM something is there now example here give it here RM star enter yeah, you can you can check otherwise. Okay, instead of searching, you can check how many things is there. You can verify RM steel rod segment. Press enter, then save. Yes, okay, and must activate. Don't forget to activate. Activate. See your profit center has been created. Like this, you can create remaining remaining also, and the three hundred. 300 and click on here enter and here rm rm opp profit center rm opp profit center person responsible mr maurya here uh, select here uh, RM something is in everyone OPP right select your OPP profit center and segment click on your browse all the segments will come you can verify which segment you are RM right RM 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 where is the RM you can verify instead of uh, browsing you let's see how many things is there and all you can see RM RM where is the RM Where is that or something? Where is that everyone? RM our ones. R R R something is there, no? Do one thing, otherwise click on this yellow button. Enter your RM star, press enter, browsing. Let's browse. See, here it will come. Browse it. Now RM OPP here, RM OS. And here set up here any name and name and uh, responsible person, profit center group and segment and save. Okay. And activate. Activate. One more, one more. I'm repeating one more, one more, everyone. I'm repeating 400. Press enter. Then here, RM PPP profit center. Here, profit center. And Mr. Uh, example, Revanche. Here, uh, RM PPP this one segment you can assign the segment click on your browse you can assign the check segment is there if you are fine then assign directly otherwise you can search enter RM underscore star it will come RM PPP something right then click on your save and okay so my dear students here you can catch one point everyone here you can catch everyone concentrate here everyone listen careful my dear students listen careful listen listen do one thing everyone go to one place go to spro spro sap reference img select your financial accounting general ledger accounting master record profit center here you can go to profit center group again you can go to profit center group again 
and press center. Everyone, listen careful. Listen careful, everyone. Concentrate here, my dear students. Concentrate here. This is the standard hierarchy, everyone. This is the standard hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Under this standard hierarchy, this is the profit center groups. Elaborate it. Elaborate it. This is the profit center group. Under the profit center group, this is the profit center. RM200, RM100, RM300, RM400. This is the profit center. So this is the standard hierarchy. And this is the profit center group. Under the profit center group, this is the profit center. So same thing in Excel, everyone. What? So this is the profit center. This profit center we can create under profit center group. This profit center group assigned with the profit center standard hierarchy. Here set up here any name. This is the name is middleware between profit center group and controlling area. And this controlling area assigned with your company codes. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no, what I'm telling? Yes, sir. Everyone, this is your yes, homework. Every, this is your homework, everyone. Everyone must create profit center and take the picture and post it into the group, everyone. I can see how you are doing the configuration. So this screen, I want to in the group, not my screen. You can practice and you can show me this screen. This is the screen. Take the picture and post into the group. Okay. Up to profit center accounting, up to date practice. Up to date practice everyone. We, will you practice? Yes, no, okay. Yes, will you sir. share yes, the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Click on here, save. Let's observe everyone. Some more thing. Do you want to write this one, everyone? This uh, this one, do you want to write this one? Yes, sir. Yes, Please sir. note it. Uh, note it down. Everyone. Profit center configuration uh, flow. Profit center flow, actually. And sir, noted. Done, sir. Done, sir. Click on here, save and now. 
so my dear students next one next one uh, display profit center here here ke53 display profit center you just uh, double click on ke53 enter this uh, your profit center then controlling area press enter enter if you press enter see all the details will come all the details will come even if you click on your company code the company codes also will going to assign automatically why because we are assigning with our controlling area so this is the profit center this is the controlling area and this is the company codes this is the one who is your responsible person mr revanch revanch is the responsible person everyone concentrate everyone i will tell you one thing everyone change profit center what is the target here change profit center change profit center what is the use of change profit center example now rm 400 rm 400 who is the responsible responsible is mr revans is responsible so revans is resigned the company in the place of revans one new employee is joined one new employee is joined the employee name is called mr puji so here everyone concentrate here this is the profit center everyone in this profit center up to now he is the responsible person up to now mr revans is responsible and now revans is resigned our company revans is resigned our company one new employee is joining mr puji so what can i do everyone i want to change person responsible revans to puji agree or not yes or no yes sir yes, yes. so how to change how to change person responsible anything ex description name group if you want anything you can change so how to change here everyone one step back now currently let's observe here currently mr revans now i want to change here so everyone this is the one everyone ke 52 ke 52 double click on ke 52 give it here your profit center controlling area press enter so here here you can change name and uh, description group segment whatever and i am changing person responsible mr ray wants to pujit whatever and click on your save save and must activate don't forget to activate here save and activate do one thing everyone now you can display everyone click on your display now again again display double click on ke53 press enter see here now it's showing pujit do one thing everyone i will tell you one thing everyone previously who is the person responsible previously anyone please respond now please please previously who is the revan is the revan and present who is he? mr pujit my dear students here here everyone concentrate here concentrate here now one new employee is joined actually for example now you can concentrate here now you can concentrate here in sap system i want to analyze everyone listen listen careful listen careful in the sap system i want to analyze who changed the profit center what information is changed when they changed what they changed i want to observe now for example now we changed a uh, uh, person responsible right 
So in the SAP system, I want to analyze. I want to analyze who changed this information. What changed this in what changed when they changed. So this type of information I want to see in the SAP. How we can see. How we can see everyone. So everyone, very simple, my dear students. This one. Display changes. Display changes, everyone. So you just double click on display changes. Give it here your controlling, I mean, profit center. Press enter. Then click on your all changes. So all the things will come. Old revenge. New Pujit. Which field? Person responsible field. Double click on this one or select this line item. Click on your details. And who changed? Changed by King. In the real time, your username will come. Your username will come. What time they changed? Like of what date they changed? Everything will come. I'm repeating one second, everyone. I'm repeating one second for my satisfaction. I'm repeating. Everyone, concentrate, everyone. <coughs> And double click on display changes. Double click on display changes. Give it here your uh, profit center. Give it here your profit center. Press enter button in the keyboard. Click on your all changes. Here you can observe. Even this screenshot also, you can take and post it into the group. I can see how you people are practicing and select this line item click on your details all the thing will come clear clear so far yes no understood yes sir. Yes, sir. yes then one more one more delete profit center delete basically everyone note it on one note everyone note it on one note Note it on one note. As for the financial accounting, as for the financial accounting, rules and regulations, as for the financial accounting, rules and regulations, We don't want to delete any financial information. In case in case if you are not use in case if you are not use any master data in the place of delete in the place of delete you can apply Block and unblock or lock and unlock. Lock and unlock. So, uh, Everyone, listen careful. What is my intention is in case any master data 
you are not, I mean, in the future, any master data, if you're not required to operate specific master data, don't delete everyone. In the place of delete, either you can block or unblock. You don't want to use block it. You want to use unblock. Otherwise, lock or unlock. You don't want to use lock. You want to use unlock. Clear, clear so far what I'm telling? Yes, no, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. We don't want to delete any information, everyone. That is the against of our financial rules and regulations, concepts and conveniences. There is a one concepts and conveniences, rules and regulations. We don't want to delete. So how example, sir, now you want to ask one question. Okay, sir. I want to lock or unlock the profit center. How we can do that? How you can do that? Otherwise, block and unblock, whatever naming convention. Sometimes SAP said lock, sometimes SAP said block. Both are same. So how you can do that? How you can do that? Very simple, everyone. Click on your change, click on your change, double click on change, give it here your profit center and controlling area, press enter button in the keyboard, enter and here go to indicators here, here, go to indicators, then here lock indicator, here, here you can lock, here you can lock, then save. Yes, always you can activate. So now this profit center unable to use during the document entry posting. It is locked. So how to unlock? Again, again enter profit center and controlling area. Go to indicator. They simply remove this tick mark. Unlock. Then save, yes, okay, and activate. Activate. Clear, clear so far, yes, no, okay, what I'm telling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Questions, questions, please, questions, please. Questions, please. So, my dear students, uh, once again, you can watch recording session. Then with, with the help of practice material, you can do the practice. Take the screenshot and post it into the group. Everybody, I want to see how you are going to practice. So in case of any questions, you please send message in the group. Everyone, in case of any queries, send message in the group. Other people can respond. Okay, if anybody is not responding, then I can respond. Don't worry about that. Okay, kindly practice everyone. So tomorrow we will discuss about document splitting. Maybe if I, if I start document splitting now, maybe your mind will going to overload. Better let us complete up to today profit center accounting. Okay, then after that document splitting and blah 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 xyz why why we are doing this configuration finally we can post the accounting entries we will generate the reports that is the reason we are creating master data we are doing the configuration and all what is our final target our final target is we want to post the accounting entries Accounting entries means document entries. Then we need to generate the reports. We need to generate the reports. That is our target, everyone. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? What I'm telling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes? Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Meet tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone.